I am. Can't swear. I am knackered. I've literally got. It is now ten to five. I got back from New York at half past two. So two hours ago, I've been in New York for like four days. Had a mental time. It is mega over there. If anyone's uh, not been, it's a mega place. Real busy in that. But yeah, set off back from New York yesterday. I got I actually got a flight in. It's like a set a seven hour flight. I got a flight into Heathrow and then had to get a transfer from Heathrow to Manchester. It's been mental, it's been crazy. I am definitely knackered. And yeah, two hours later, two and a half hours later, I am Oxford bound for tuition in the morning. Uh, yeah, I thought, it's a waste of time to go and sleep and messing around with my sleep pattern and that, probably get a bit jet lagged. Um, I always thought jet, jet lag was something to do with your legs. <laughs> jet legs. I thought it was because you sat down for ages or something. But yeah, I've been informed that it's actually to do with time differences. Um, but anyway, yeah, on my way down, I don't, yeah, I thought I'd come down tonight, I can have a mooch around and that. Yeah, but there's been the odd ones coming out. Oh, Renyard, Renyard the rapper, has uh, it's been having a couple. Uh, so that's a good sign, but the fish aren't really doing much from what I've heard. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get down there, have a look around myself tonight, see if I can find some fish, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, get some rods out and see what happens. Yeah, two two nights of tuition. Obviously, I've said it before. You don't want to crap with these tuitions. I can't do loads of filming in the day and that, especially this time of year. My light hours are limited anyway. So obviously, if I get any fish or anything, that's going to go on. I'll try and get as much film as I can. Hopefully, be able to find some. You know, do get up in the layers on Christchurch. Uh, this time of year, if we get some nice bits of sun in the day, so I might be able to find some fish, that'd be cool. Cool, don't know what that's about. Uh, yeah, that'd be quite good. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, this could be wasted footage right here, but I like to film everything, see what happens. I'll try and update you as and when I can. Hopefully we get some fish. If anything's gonna come out, it's most probably gonna be them big girls. So we shall see. Good morning. Time is just gone eight, I think. Been up about an hour now. Oof, look at that. One rod job in it. Yeah, no joy. Yeah, been up about an hour now. Supposed to start the tuition at eight, but give him a message. He is down, down there in entries. I'm in a swim called the Point. And he's down there. Yeah, I dropped him a message and just said we'll start about nine. Um, just gives us a bit more time just to wake up and that. It doesn't come white till about quarter to eight now, half, half seven, especially in these conditions. Nothing to report, didn't hear anything after getting the rod out or anything, so yeah, I spoke to the lad who got intuition. He said that he'd seen a couple yesterday, definite sight, so that's interesting. Uh, just before dark, it's definitely a good sign. I haven't seen anything this morning, but we shall see. Come on, coffee's on. Doing it, mid tuition. Old Johnny boy on the sticks. Yes, yes. <laughs> Eggy lads. Rigs are ready to go. I've got my gloves on. Good girl. <laughs> That's what we're going for, we've got a couple of hinges. And manillas. On white. Ah! Don't wear gloves with hooks. One white, one standard. And uh, got one on the old noodle. Can't not have a noodle on. Old Johnny boy's got his rods out now, all rocking. Um, I've just come down now, get sorted. I'm just gonna put a couple of hinges out. Um, over probably five or six bombs of pellet and that, same same tactics. I'm a few swims down in the plate. Um, yeah, but I'm going to set some alarms tonight, get up in the night, see if we can move. There might be a move on tomorrow, see where the fish are at. That time of year where the location is paramount. Right, no joy last night for me or my tuition. Stay to me. But, um, yeah, I had a few between me and him, sort of mid pond. So I've chucked the bucket sort of two swims down. Going to dive in there tonight. Uh, the lad on tuition, John, 
He's had a few good liners and that through the night, and he's definitely fished down in that zone, so I think we're going to stick it out in this area. But I'm just going to move a couple down towards him, a bit closer anyway, so it's good for a bit of socialism. But, Mr. Renyard, Steve, has got a chunk on the other side. It's the only bite last night, there's definitely fish over there. Um, yeah, he's got a mid 40, 44, 43, 44 pounds, not too sure which fish it is yet. I'm going to fly over there, do some pics with him, get some footage, see which one it is. Any fish at this time of year is special, especially from Christchurch. Wow, going to go over there and have a look at it. Sure, it's a banger. Rods are in. Off to see Renyard the rapper. Hip, hop. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice morning to go and see a 40 pound chunk. Here he is. <laughs> Run you out the wrapper. <laughs> Eggy lad. It's, it's Scotty Lloyd. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. Uh, yeah, you got oh. What's he got? What's he got? Look at that. Tank. <laughs> Get a yeah. saddle on that, baby. Yeah. Scale that size up, it's got. Yeah, it's the big simo, I think, mate. Yeah, <clears throat> it's the simo. <laughs> He's big. It's just the width of it, it's like a yeah, real right. though. Yeah, it's gone big now. Eh? Filling right out. Oh, good to... Uh... <laughs> How big was it, Steve? 44 and a half. Look at the width of him. <laughs> we are currently packing away. Yes. <clears throat> like I said, got old matey packing down there. What? He's packing up. Right. Yeah, like I said, let me flip this. Ooh. Like I said, definitely had them fish to my right last night and it would definitely see me a bit more that side. With Steve having that bite as well over there and he had definitely had another bite a couple of days ago. We're gonna move into that zone. Uh, sort of putting it all together. Had a few liners last night early, early on. So did John. And then it sort of went dead. So quiet, <clears throat> it just died off. So I reckon there's probably spending a little bit of time over here in the day, but moving over into that side in the night uh, it makes sense because the sun's picking up that side if you have a walk the sun is picking up that side all day the sun sets over here on the left hand side so it's picking that up all day and it is flat over there and the wind's going to swing more west which blows into this bank over here so it means if anything it's probably going to get warmer over there now 
so yeah we're making the move so basically yeah we're just going around there poaching up mr renyard <laughs> nice one stevie led but yeah now nah, we're making a move over there I mean, it's winter, it's freezing cold, but you've got to be on the fish. Location, rule number one, even more so at this time of year. So yeah, pack down, move over, get the rods out, not too much messing about, and uh, happy days. Yeggy <laughs> lad, making notes, kid. Ooh, I like it. Look at that. <whistles> Good neat am right, you know. <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> What's we'll the next to them trees? Uh, middle trees. Solid bag rig. Oosh. Couple of hinges. Again. New swim. Doing it. This is the old mix. Woodworm pellet. Vanilla pellet. Crushed manure. And the final additive will be Bloodworm. Woohoo! Look at that. Got all of them in there. I'm gonna strain them out from my sock first. Where's my sock at? <laughs> well, change of scenery. Definitely feel a lot more confident over here, it's a lot warmer. Fish definitely seem to be over this side from what I've seen and heard last night. Um, obviously Steve had them couple uh, that was on this side and just my sort of late knowledge uh, over the years uh, this time of year has always been this side predominantly and I always think it's down to the budworm beds uh, and also it picks up the sun all day so a combination of them two things possibly you know who knows you know they can be anywhere but the ones that I'm hearing and seeing have definitely all been on this side and just in this way of this wind, you know, and it's due to swing more west, which pushes that way. So it'll be a bit more flat water in front of me. Lad in the tuition's down to me left here. But yeah, doing it. Feel a lot more confident over here. A lot easier getting the rods out as well. I've just gone for a couple of solid bags, pellet. And they're out, they're rocking. Only what, 10 wraps, 10 wraps, 8 feet, something like that. Got a big storm coming over. Doing it. It's so warm though, so warm. Be surprised if summer doesn't happen tonight. But, you know, it is that time of year where you're lucky to even see or hear a fish, never mind catch one, so we shall see. Look at these essential items right here. All inclusive in the price of the tuitions, these bad boys. No expense spared. Eggy lad. Eggy lad. We have him on tonight, I want some. Yeah, Can't see you under there. There you are, starting to look rough you are, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, and I've even gone, pushed out the boundaries. Custard slices. Bit mangled now, though, but... Yeah. Got a bit squashed. You're not having one of them, by the way. <laughs> well, that was a quiet night. I ended up staying up to about maybe half 11. He had one fish. Obviously, one's enough, <coughs> but nothing caught between the two of us. Not sure where the fish was either, I sort of lay awkwardly. I couldn't sort of reference where it was, if you know what I mean. Well, it didn't sound too far out, and I'm only about 10 wraps. So. <sighs> Did think it was going to happen after hearing that one. So early as well. But yeah, nothing. Conditions couldn't have been better this morning. But absolutely no joy, not even a liner. And I'm fishing on the braid. So, hmm. I think maybe that little bit of pressure in the area was moving in here. Might have just pushed them out a bit. Who knows? I've had them at this time of year before. Last year, actually. Um, I think that was in late November. I had that Coke can. Common. Was the milk? <coughs> yeah, that was my last one out last year. Coke can common, that was about 41, I think, if I remember rightly. I had a big black eye. Sure I did. Not sure how. Fell out of a tree. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, I've caught them sort of previous winters. I um, had a fish called uh, Baby Perch years ago, one of my first sort of winters on here. Um, that was uh, 30, 39 pound, I think. I don't really fish through the winter predominantly, you know, it, but it's staying really mild this winter, so um, I've known it to do this before. And as soon as we get, what, probably five or six frosts on the bounce and winter really kicks in, then it'll just shut up, you know, it's a predominantly deep and weedy lake. Them sort of places do shut up for the winter, um, as, as far as I know it anyway. Doing a lot of work in the winter, I'm on the railway, there's a lot of work to be done. I work Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's, work all that. Really good money, you know, get like double time and that, so it's just another day for me. I ain't got no kids or anything. Oh. But yeah, and then um, I've known it to wake up in February quite early. When you used to be able to zig fish on here, I've had a, had a few early. I had a banger um, on a zig. What was it? The pretty one. That was a nice fish. I caught on a zig, one of my first ones of the year. And then, uh, yeah, I remember Adam, mate of mine, Adam Smith. He had like an 18 fish hit out of here once when it was mild. Um, old to the big ones, 18 like. And then um, Miles dropped in next to him, as he does, poacher. Cast him well right. <laughs> Basically fishing on the back of Adam's spot. But um nah um, yeah he had he had about sure about four or six or something like that with like three of them being forties. Mental, mental. But yeah, that's it. Nothing to report. If anything happens, I'll get it on. If not, until next time. Eggy let.